my last video, I promised to show you how I mix and master my beats, so let's get to it. Before I move to the tutorial, I just want to make clear that this is my way of mixing and mastering my beats, and the style I go to is a very specific one, and what I mean by that is I always go for that distorted 808 sound. So yeah, right now I'm gonna play the beat as it is before I even put anything on my master, and yeah, nothing here is leveled, it's just the way I made it, and here's how it sounds. <music> So before I even do anything, I'm gonna go to my master and specifically on the last insert, I'm gonna add Fruity Soft Clipper. You can add any clipping plugin that you like, but usually I go with the stock one because it is very CPU friendly. So keep that in mind when you're about to mix a lot of sounds. With the Soft Clipper, we can actually achieve that clipping sound on the hard beats that I make, but without actually having our track clipping. Obviously, I'm gonna add two more things on my master, but I'm gonna do that after I level the beat. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go to my melody. And specifically, I'm gonna go to the loudest part, which is the counter melody. And I'm actually gonna lower it a bit. You usually wanna make it hit around minus 12 dB, but I'm gonna go for a bit less this time. And what I'm gonna add to my melody is two things. First of all, it's gonna be an EQ. First of all, it's gonna be an EQ. And I'm gonna take down some of the low end. Usually people set it as a high pass like this, but it is a very harsh type of removing your low end. So even having it like this, like the default, it's gonna sound more natural. Obviously you don't wanna take too much of the low end because it's gonna sound very unnatural. The next plugin I'm gonna add is gonna be Stereo Enhancer and I'm gonna tweak those two knobs. The first one is gonna be the Stereo Separation knob. I usually go around 30% and I'm also gonna tweak this face offset knob just a bit and that is gonna separate our melody from the drums a bit more. Now before I move on to the drums, I want to make clear that you need high quality sounds because this is the majority of a good mix. If the sounds you are using sound trash from the beginning, then there's no point at trying to fix them with the mix. And for that reason, you need good drum kits and sample packs. For this beat, I'm using my Source Drum Kit Bundle, which includes all of my drum kits, and it is pretty much 5GB of hard drums, melodies, and many more to make fire beats. If you want to get it, you can find it in my description. So yeah, now let's go to the drums. I'm gonna start with my 808. And the first thing I want to do is actually go to the 808 itself, and I'm gonna go right here on the pre-computed effects, and I'm gonna increase the boost knob. Even though the 808 hits above 0 dB right here on the master, because we have the soft clipper on, it actually doesn't pick above 0 dB. Also on the 808, I'm gonna increase the velocity of the notes. And now I'm gonna go to my clap or snare and I'm gonna do the same thing. And usually when it comes to my claps and snares, I usually go below minus 3 dB. Now for the close hi-hats, I go around minus 12 dB. And I'm actually gonna add Fast Distortion, which is a default distortion plugin inside FL. And I'm gonna go to the mix level and I'm gonna decrease it by a lot. But 
that way the close high cuts blend really nicely with the hard 808 and we have very nice high end. Then I'm gonna go on my open high hat and I'm gonna lower it once again around minus 12 dB. But yeah, that really depends on the sound. In this case, we went around minus 15. But yeah, make sure you use your ears when it comes to sounds like that. And now I'm gonna go once again on my master and I'm gonna add my mastering sauce. It's two plugins actually, and they are both free. The first one is Fresh Air and I usually increase the high end just a bit. Then I will add OTT and honestly there are so many settings you can play with it but I'm gonna show you the settings that I use. First of all I set the depth at 30% then I take down upward and downward to 0% and then I will increase the downward compression until I get a very nice hard hitting sound. Usually I set it around 60% but that really varies on the vibe of the track. That ODT really gave more loudness to the track while also making the 808 sound more hard and very squashed at the same time which is a sound that I really like. And yeah that's about it, this is literally everything I do on every single beat recently. If you found this video useful make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one, peace.